until you're interrupting in my music. I know. Why do you interrupt my music every morning? Why don't you just enjoy the music? Dance around a little bit. Let your hair down. Oh. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> You traded again. They're solar candles, didn't you? <laughs> well, uh, maybe so. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, good morning. It's uh, nice to have you here this morning. Good to have all you goods and good as us here this morning. Love you all. And we got to get to the lesson. Yeah, we uh, we do have to get to the lesson. Uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, Phil. What's all this stuff down here in front? You don't know, do you? No. Uh, somebody had instructions to set it up. Well, I'll tell you what. These are props. And I think it would be best if we went down there and sat down to do the rest of the program. Okay, well, if you insist, uh, we'll go down there. Uh, if you can make it, I'll make it. Don't worry, I'll make it. I'll get there. Kind of close up to you there. That's scary. Hi, this is Tom Bodette from Major Six. We know you've been traveling a lot this holiday season, and you've probably been told there's no room at the end. Well, that's just not the case here at Major Six. Why, from just 29 drachma, we'll put you up in a warm, comfortable stable with plenty of fresh milk for the newborn. There's even individual stalls for your mules, camels, or whatever you happen to be driving across the desert. And in case unexpected visitors decide to drop in on you, shepherds, wise men, holy ghosts, it's not a problem, Major Six. There's plenty of frankincense and myrrh to go around. This is Tom Bodet from Major Six reminding you, there's always room at this end. We'll even leave a star out for you. Or sit on the floor by my feet. 
Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my dear brothers, has not God chosen you for poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and inherit the kingdom? He promised those who loved him. But you have insulted the poor. It is not the rich who are exploiting you. Are they not the ones who are dragging you into court? Are they not the ones who are slandering the noble name of him to whom you belong? If you really keep the royal law found in the scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. But if you show favoritism, you sin, are convicted by the law as the lawbreakers. For whosoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking it all. For he who said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not murder. If you do not commit adultery, but you commit murder, you have become a lawbreaker. Speak and act as those who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom, because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to him, go, I wish you well, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about his physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Thank you very much, fair lady. Appreciate that. Okay, you hey, Joe, you've done a very good job of illustrating what our lesson was about this morning. And uh, you just got to yourself again. Well, thank you, dude. Thank you, Reverend Dude. Thank you, Reverend Connie. I'm going to go back home and see how Phyllis is doing with the twins. And we love you all. God bless.